any of these young actresses have matured beautifully and blossomed in the best way possible. Even if many child actors capture the nation's hearts at a young age thanks to their cuteness, this isn't always the case. Instead, several teenagers who became popular for their acting skills are recognized for qualities such as their captivating personality and how mature they seem for their generation. So, as you can guess, here in this list, we are going to talk about the child stars who grew up to be gorgeous. Let's start the countdown. But before that be sure to subscribe down below, turn on my post notifications so you never miss another upload, and now let's jump right into the video. Jonathan Lipnicki Jonathan Lipnicki was a charming child actor who was difficult to overlook with his light blonde hair and bulky shades. Stuart Little, the little vampire, and Like Mike were only a few of the films he appeared during his career. During an interview with Today Extra in 2016, Lipnicki reflected on his career, especially his role as Ray Boyd and Jerry Maguire, in which he co-starred with Tom Cruise. Lipnicki stood out in the latter, with some reviewers claiming that he was the best thing in the movie. It's no surprise that he snatched Cruz's heart before Zellweger's character. Michelle Trachtenberg Trachtenberg is someone that we can all bow down to. We've seen Trachtenberg develop up into the stunning lady she is today. From her days as a little girl on Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Harriet the Spy to her current role as Queen Georgina on Gossip Girl. Unlike many of her contemporaries, Michelle Trachtenberg did not have to become a gossip sensation or a paparazzi darling to establish herself as one of Hollywood's most sought-after actresses. Bella Thorne The most beautiful girl now Bella Thorne, was born in Pembroke Pines. Florida, on October 8, 1997. And she was raised in an Irish, Italian, and Cuban household. When the potential star was only six weeks old, she posed for the first time in a photo shoot for Parents magazine. Thorne has been seen in international magazines and print ads for Barbie, Target, and Ralph Lauren ever since. She has starred in over 40 advertising campaigns, including those for KFC and Texas Instruments. Thorne was first diagnosed with dyslexia when she was in kindergarten. Nicola Peltz Both of Nicola Peltz's parents were very competitive in their respective fields. Nelson Peltz, her father, was a billionaire businessman, and Claudia Peltz, her mother, was a model. Her acting career started when she was 11 years old. When she landed a part in Danny DeVito and Matthew Broderick's Christmas comedy Deck the Halls. Following that, she made her Broadway debut in Blackbird at the Manhattan Theatre, opposite Jeff Daniels. Night Shyamalan's family adventure The Last Airbender gave her her first big part as Katara, the female protagonist. Chloe Grace Moretz. Preteen actress Chloe Grace Moretz, like Dakota Fanning before her, earned critical acclaim for her mature, confident roles in films like The Amityville Horror, 500 Days of Summer, and Kick Ass. She was already performing parts on television shows when she was not even 10 years old. Elle Fanning. Elle Fanning who was once identified as Dakota's younger sister, soon made a name for herself when she starred in films such as Babylon Somewhere as a kid. No matter how endearing she was as a kid, there's no doubt she seemed clumsy. But as an adult, we could easily see her succeeding as a model if she weren't concentrating on acting. Dakota Fanning Dakota Fanning is an American actress. She was born in Georgia on February 23, 1994. She gained fame when she was seven years old for her role as Lucy Dawson in the drama film I Am Sam 2001. 
for which she was nominated for a Screen Actors Guild Award at the age of eight, making her the youngest candidate in SAG history. She also starred in the movies Uptown Girls 2003, The Cat in the Hat 2003, Man on Fire 2004, War of the Worlds 2005, Dreamer 2005. It is no wonder that she is talented from childhood. Kristen Stewart Kristen Stewart was really transformed into a young star for the first time when she appeared in Panic Room. And her performance in that film stuck out for all the right reasons. Stewart used to play roles that preferred to remain in the background as a child. But now that she is an adult, she is such a beautiful woman that she can't conceal it. Kristen Stewart is well known to mass viewers as Bella Swan in the Twilight Saga. Natalie Portman Natalie Portman, praised as a young prodigy for her outstanding performances in Luke Besson's The Professional and Michael Mann's Heat, eluded the kid star curse and soared to fame in her 20s. Also, as a child, Portman's desire to portray fragile old souls echoed her own balanced, socially evolved persona, as well as her capacity to plan her career and deliberately pick positions. Emma Watson Emma Watson, who rose to fame as Hermione Granger in all eight Harry Potter film adaptations. She was one of the few actors who managed to maintain a secure, regular existence while being one of the franchise's most well-known and highest-paid performers. Her rapid rise to celebrity was nothing short of extraordinary. How do you enjoy this video? Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all and I will see you in my next video, bye.